Babantan be careful when he feels so, Jah. Him say, world without end, me nation, he go back to nation, me the Israelite nation. Hey, I disappointed greatly in Brother Ephel because he is a better on YouTube now going to embarrass himself to disrespect, he's going to open himself to a whole bag of disrespect. He feel the problem is interpreting, he interpreting these people record, in foolish interpretation, going to cause him problem, you understand? And he should really try and do better. But then this man packing up with a series of lie budget. You see, it's not, not it's one thing for quote the text and the next thing for interpret it. Because the only we could quote Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, Roman, Ephesians, Galatians, we could do that all day, all year. You understand? But where the problem comes from, if it is when you got interpret the people record, that's where well, him and the rest of the team and organization that him from continue doing a spreading confusion amongst the earth. You understand? So, uh, uh, amongst people on this earth. So, this is the problem there. Bantan, this boy lying to you. So, Brakate Yahawa, Brakate Oshe, Brakate Yahawa, Brakate Oshe, Brakate Yahawa, Brakate Oshe. First and foremost, we want to give our praises and honor and glory to Yahawa, Bashem Yahushe, Bashem, Brakakadash, double honor to the apostles and elders who rule well a written in stone, and a blessed sanitation to the Akyams and the folk on the earth, who should the gospel in sincerity and truth. The Shalom. I just want to do um, a little commentary after this uh, voice note. You know, it's some, it's some jigs. It's some jigs I grew up with, you know, back in um, in South America, which, which is part of Guyana, you know. You know, showing them the light, you know, but they reject knowledge, right? So I paraphrase, um, which is Isaiah, right? Isaiah, because one of them is a, a Christian. And he's saying, you know, you know that the favorite scripture is John 3, 16. And so I bring out this piece of prayer, Isaiah 45 and 17. He said, but Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. He shall, he shall not be ashamed nor a confounded world without end. So the world is the Israelite here, right? So I said, this world is the Israelite world. You know, we're, we're going we're gonna to rule forever. Right, perpetual, perpetual rule, right? You understand? This war, this this war, war is um is uh, uh what is Olam Olam Strong's H fifty seven sixty nine Olam right. Olam Olam right? It's a forever everlasting, perpetual, evermore. Right, long duration, you understand, forever everlasting, ever more perpetual, old, ancient. Right, so this is the Israelite war, we're gonna rule forever. You understand? Right, so the, the war, the war, the war, the war, the war, the war, right, is Olam, with me a perpetual, a perpetual rulership, right, and the war is, the war is, is, is the Israelite, right. Uh, so they got three three meaning three other meaning for the word for the word for the word world in Greek which is cosmos which means arrangement of stars are the con arrangement of the console um the yeah the arrangement of stars right uh oikumen which means the, the inhabited earth right um and ion or aeon which means an age or a period of time right you understand? So this world without end is the Israelite world, right? Roughly paraphrasing um Second Israel six and nine, Esau is the end of the world. Esau is the progenitor, the so-called white race, the end of his time of rulership, the end of his age, right? And Jacob is the beginning of it that follow. So Jacob is the world that can rule, right? Without end, right? You understand? So let me just go into this um. Uh, this is the uh, online online etymology dictionary right and it's a world old english world world human existence the affair of life also a long period of time which is aeon right it's a also the human race mankind humanity you understand so a human race go back to what nation Right, the scripture tell you that there's more there is more than one worlds, right? 
uh, let me jump down to here. He said, German world, German belt, with a literal sense of age of man, age of man, I mean a period of time that I, this world going to rule, the world will go back to the nation, right? You understand? This really world means world go back to the nation. There is more, there is more than one world, right? Let me jump down to this one here, right? It's um, it's a Greek cosmos in its ecclesiastical sense of world of people you understand world of people and when you go to this word ecclesiasticus it means what church and the israelite is the church sense of world of people you understand so the world the world go back to one nation right um uh, let me get um uh, as i just paraphrase it let me get it all right hebrews Hebrews 1 and um, 2, all right? This is Hebrews chapter 1, verse 2. He said, And in these last days spoken unto us by his son, Yahushai, whom he had appointed heirs of all things in heaven and in earth, by whom also he made the worlds. There's more than one worlds. You understand? He made the worlds, all right? All right? See the word there, ion, right? All right. Strong's G one sixty five, ion, ion, ion. All right. You understand? You see a period of time, age. All right, has been mean a period of time. Or age, right? So there's more than one world under the heaven, right? Just let me read this article right here, right? This is um um the the English Oxford Living Dictionary, right? And this would say, hey, what is the origin of the of the word world? The ancient root. The ancient root of world mean age or life of man. You understand? Age or life of man. Look at this here, right? Look at this here. Um, this is the different empire that rule. Right now we're in the war. We're in the iron and clay, which is the divided kingdom, which is the Edomite kingdom. Right? We're in, we're in the toe, the ten toes, right? And this is the dream that King never can never had. Right in the book of Daniel, when the prophet Daniel break it down, right? It's a golden age. I mean, what a, a period of time that this kingdom rule this world, which is the Babylonian, right? Which is the Babylonian world, right? You understand? Which is a people. The Babylonian is a people, it's a race of people, it's a nation, it's a world. You understand? The Babylonian, the great, the lion, the Chaldees this, uh, dynasty, 634. To 562 BC, King Nebuchadnezzar II. Then you have the Silver Age, right? The, the Achaemenid Empire. This is a people that rule, a world that rule for a period of time, aeon the age, right? A period of time. You understand the rule in this age, which is the called the Silver Age, right? The Bear, the Mede, and the Persian from 550 to 330 BC. King Cyrus the Great, the Bronze Age, the Greco Macedonian, the Leopard Hellenistic Era from 336 to 323 BC to 168 BC, Alexander the Great, right? So these are different, different world that rule, right? Which is which, which, which these are the Edomite world, right? Uh, this is the um. The Mede and the Mede and the Persian uh, rulership, which is the um, Japhet, Japhet and uh, the today we call uh, Elam, which is East Indian, right? This is what they there was their rulership. They had a they had a giant a giant rulership, right? They come together, why right? they call the Achaemen Empire. They join together the Mede, which is Japhet, and the Persian, which is the, which is which is um which is Elam. East Indian, right? And this is the Greco 
Macedonian. This is this is the so-called white man rulership. You rule. This is the the Greek rulership. Is the so-called white man, right? And this is the Roman Empire again, which is the so-called white man, right? Which is the Iron Age, the Roman Empire. This is these are all these these are Edomites, right? These is Edomites, right? He said the beasts, the Western and Eastern, 44 BC to 476 AD, reign reign of the Caesar, right? And then you got the modern age, new Roman Empire, which is this kingdom, which is Babylon. Ten king, ten kingdoms, the European Union, New World Order. So we in the ten tools, which is the divided kingdom, which is the Enomite world. That's why it say here in um Second Ezra chapter six verse um start from eight, and he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Isaac, Nusalak Jacob, Han held first the heel of Esau. You're gonna find this account in Genesis 25, right? Wrong 25, 26 going down. Genesis 25, 26 going down. Right? Genesis chapter 25, verse 25, 26, right? You can find this, this record right here, right? Verse, verse 9, for Esau is the end of the world. For Esau, Esau is the progenitor of the so-called white race. For Esau is the end of the world, end of his age, end of his rulership, right? Aeon, end of his end of the end of his period of time of ruling on the earth. You understand? So this world is the, the, the end the end gonna come. Right? And Jacob is the beginning of it that follow. And Jacob, the Israelite, their world gonna be a war without end. And this we read in Isaiah 45 and 17. Jacob, which is the Israelite, their world gonna be a world without end. They're gonna rule perpetually. You understand? So the world represents nation or a race of people. Right? This would represent. So let me go back into this here, right? Um it's a the ancient root of world mean age or life of man. The first part is the same as war in the were werewolf, sea wolf. It means man, and the second part is related to all the Anglo Saxon first used world to mean human existence. You understand? It's a life on earth. Life on earth. There is 18 world under the heaven. Right? We just read it in um just read it in um in Hebrews 1 and 2. The worlds, right? It's a um life on earth as opposed to the future of life in heaven or hell. America was first called the new world in 1555 and europe asia and africa the old world at the end of that century you understand so what represent nation right what represent nation and gear it gave a break down here with the statue right with the statue right so it, uh, a couple of precepts on close off right you understand All right, you get a couple of precepts from close off. All right. I want to fuck on to show you something here. All right. It said the word is a aeon is a Greek word, right? And it means age and age error. A time, a time, a time, a period of time to rule. Right? Um, um Right. Uh, this is a uh, see an age, same thing Greek aeon. Right. So you gotta understand the meaning of words. Right. This is where you gotta understand. And to put them in the right context, you understand? Alright. So the word the word a the word in Greek there for is aeon, which means an age. And this we was this we was going into a different age, different period of time, different rulership. Alright? So let me go in. Let me um 
we get a couple of precepts and close out this lesson. Right? So yeah, I paraphrase <clears throat> so lucky I paraphrase um um Isaiah forty Isaiah forty five and seventeen, you know, and the scarf. God I didn't understand the scarf. Right? This is John chapter eighty verse twenty, right? And this is in Messiah. Right? John chapter 18 verse 20, Yahweh shall answer him, I speak openly to the world, right? He see, speak openly to the world. I ever taught in the synagogue and in the temple, whether the Jews always resort and in secret have I said nothing. So Yahweh shall speak openly to the world, which was the world, the Jews, the Israelite, right? He taught in the synagogue, there was in the synagogue, in the temple, and he taught them inside day. And he say, he said, and in secret have he said nothing. She speak openly to the to the Israelite, which is the world, which is the nation. You understand? The Israelite nation, which is you so called Negroes, Latins, and Native American Indian. Right? He said, John 18 and 20, Yahweh shall answer him. I speak openly to the world. I ever taught in the synagogue and in the temple, whether the Jews always resort. And in secret have I said nothing, right? And these Jews go back to what Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, right? So there was the there was the Israelites, right? Uh, let me get this one in Mark, Mark 16, 15. All right, this is Mark chapter 16, verse 15, right? Um, and he said unto them go he into all the world right into all the world upon the earth right there is more than one world on the earth there is more than one world under the heavens so he said go ye into all the world why because the Israelites were scattered in all the world the Israelites were scattered among all these nations the Israelites were scattered in all these country that's why Yahweh I commanded his disciples to go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature, right? Every creature means to, 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 to the Israelites, right? You understand? This 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 gospel is only for the Israelites, right? You understand? Creature come from the word creation, right? You understand? So the Israelites were dwelling in all the, among all these other nations because we were scattered. You understand? So all the world that dwell upon the earth, Right, there's more than one world that dwell upon the earth. Right. Um, let me get Revelation. Revelation three, ten. This Revelation chapter three verse ten. Right. Revelation chapter three verse ten. He said, "Because thou hast kept the the word of of my patience, I also will keep thee." From the hour of temptation, the hour of temptation is in microchip. You know this economy gonna collapse, and they gonna shortage of food, right? They not got no cash because the economy gonna collapse. The dollar gonna die, right? And they gonna they gonna got great starvation in the in the earth. In all these nations, gonna have great star, starvation, right? He said because thou hast kept the word of my patient. I, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which is the microchip, the mark of the beast, which shall come upon all the world, which shall come upon all the world, all the world that dwell in the earth, all the nation that dwell upon the earth, right? To try them that dwell upon the earth. So all the world dwell upon the earth, mean the nation. Come on, man. This is, this, this, this is plain. Right? Read this again. Revelation 3 and 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which is the hour of the microchip. Right? When this devil can come to try to chip the whole the whole entire planet. Right? He said, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. You understand? So this way they're going into the world, the world 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 represent nation or race of people. Right, this will represent, you understand, a race 
of people, a nation of people. You understand? This would represent, right? And with that, hope this message edifying. I want to give our praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Raka Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders who move at a great stone, and a blessed sanitation to the Akiyoms in the folk and the earth to push in the gospel and sincerity in truth. Shalom.